Hello everybody, welcome today to our fitness roundtable discussion. I'm Travell Gaines here with Dr. Pat and AJ Diggs. Today we're going to talk about the proper way to put on weight. Whether you're an athlete or just a common person at home, the proper way to put on weight is a great topic to discuss every single day. So Dr. Pat, I know you see a lot of clients, a lot of athletes, a lot of civilians, a lot of weekend warriors. What, do you, what are your thoughts or what do you think about putting on weight? I think uh, depending on the sport you play and what your goals are, it's a great thing. The, with the professional athletes, their best time to gain weight is during the off season because they're practicing so much, traveling so much, it's hard for them to gain weight during the season. So we always discuss putting on weight during the off season. Yeah, Travell, how do you uh, combat putting on good weight towards putting on too much weight too fast? That's a good question. I think the best thing to do when athletes are looking to put on weight is to maintain that they put on two to three pounds a week. So it's just a gradual increase. So they're constantly able to still do their movements. They're still constantly able to jump, cut, do everything they need to do and still be comfortable by putting on the gradual weight. So like, for example, like I saw my main man, Anthony Davis, probably one of the best players in the NBA this year, put on 25 pounds of lean muscle over 12 weeks over the summer. So he did it the right way and I think it's gonna really pay off for him over the court. You don't feel as though that's going to expect, affect his explosiveness or um, just the way that he moves on the court, 25 pounds. If you put that on anybody right now, you put a bag around him, you, don't you feel like that would be kind of holding him down a little bit in terms of him being explosive? That's a, that's a good question, but I don't think so, just because the way he put it on. He just put it on so gradual and, and so slow and, and so methodical and just changed his diet, took out some bad things, put in some good things, and just stayed on the weights and stayed with his movement every single day and his flexibility, so he'll be okay with it. So Dr. Pat, what do you think about, from a, just from a nutrition standpoint, what's the best way to, to put on weight? What's the best thing to eat? Just what do you think from a nutrition standpoint? I think you kind of nailed it when you said do it gradually and take out the bad and eat more good. So you definitely want to take out the candies, the sweets, and eat more proteins, more good carbs like potatoes or brown rice instead of white rice, and make sure you're having your veggies and your fruits. I think that's the best way to do it. When it comes to weight management, you know, the good foods cost. Right. They go to whole, they go to, to eat organically cost, to eat healthy cost. That's why a lot of times you see a lot of urban kids are heavier because they're eating so much stuff with just all the bad stuff in there, the carbohydrates right. and sodium. Deep fried. Exactly, right. exactly. And Quick. so it, it, eating healthy and putting on the proper weight and just, just having a healthier lifestyle is expensive. It has to be a real commitment to you. Dr. Pai, how do you feel about uh, supplements in terms of weight gaining, everybody takes either, uh, what is it, Metroplex like or shake. some type of protein shake. How do you feel that is in terms of gaining good weight as well? I think, I think it's great, um, but as long as the athlete knows how to take them and when to take them and which ones to take. Okay. There's a lot, there's like a big science to it. People just think, I'm gonna take my protein shake, but I'm sure Travell knows better than I do. There's a anabolic stage your body goes into after a workout, and that's the best time to have your amino acids or your protein. But I think supplements taken the right time at the right place, it's a great thing to do. What about from a, from a physical standpoint, you know, with your, with your, with your joints, with your knees, right. just, how is that affected? I think if you gain the weight too quickly, it can start causing issues in your knees, your ankles, your weight-bearing joints. But if you're working on your flexibility at the same time as you're gaining weight, you should be fine. Travell, if I was a client that came to you and I'm trying to gain weight, how do you program their workout compared to just a regular workout? If we're just, my goal is just, I want to put size on. I think the first thing you do is change their diet. Obviously, you have to up their caloric intake, and then I will slow their workout down. So a lot of times when guys come in, they want to get leaner. And so I speed the workout up to keep their heart, weight, heart rate up the whole time. But if guys are really trying to uh, gain weight, I will slow it down a little bit just to uh, decrease their uh, metabolic heart rate just a little bit. I know we talked a lot about kind of gaining weight, but I think probably what's more important is increasing your strength and your power right. than actually putting on weight, especially for a basketball player who, again, you have these gangly guys who are extremely, extremely strong and can hold their weight um, compared to football guys who just have tons of mass and can push 700 pounds. I think that's kind of the difference between those two sports. Like obviously a baseball player, you have a guy like, I don't know, somebody who's kind of overweight or looks like he's overweight, but again, he can throw the baseball 100 miles an hour. It's kind of interesting that you see all these different body types that, you know, want to put on weight or lose weight at the same time. I think in rapping, you just have to look at what's the comfortable weight for you. 
you know, where do you, where does your body feel good at? Where do you want to be at? How do you look yourself in the mirror? What works for your sport? What works for your day to day life? And I think that once you find that target weight that you want to be at, just work hard every day to, to maintain it from an exercise standpoint, from a nutrition standpoint, and just from a just a lifestyle standpoint. Well, guys, that's our segment for this week. I want to thank everybody for being here again today. And for more information, log on to thepostgame.com.